Which is why it's got another video here for you on how to get Windows 11 22 H2 update right now. If you're one of these people that like to update straight away, then I'll show you how to get the latest 22 H2 update without having to wait for Microsoft to release it. So let's go to the start button, go to settings, and then go down to where it says Windows update. When we do Windows update here, you would normally see uh, an update for 22H2 when it's getting pushed out by Microsoft. But as you can see, it's not ready for release for us. And we just have to wait until Microsoft release it. But if you can't wait and you do want to get it right away, then I'll show you basically how you can do it and jump the queue basically. So let's go ahead and type in here Winver and we'll do that in search and we'll take a look at the version of Windows we're using right now. You can see it's 21H2 and we want to go to 22H2. So let's go ahead and I'll quickly show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. Now, because we can't update Windows the conventional way through the Windows Update tool here, we're going to have to use the Windows Update Assistant. And this is going to allow us to update Windows to the very latest version. So what we're going to do is close this off here and we're going to go ahead and go to a browser, type in here Windows 11 ISO, and this will take you to the Microsoft website uh, where you can download the Windows 11 ISO. We don't need the ISO, it's just a quick way to get to the website. So let's click on Download Windows 11 Microsoft here. Inside here, you're going to see some download links. The one we're interested in is Windows 11 Installation Assistant. So let's go ahead and download this here. And this is a little uh, assistant tool that we can use. So I'm going to click on this and open this up. And this will open up the program for us. We can now close the, the browser off in the background. And you should see use the PC Health Check app to check compatibility. This is to make sure that your PC is compatible with this latest update. So we're going to download the app. And I'll quickly run the app and show you this PC is compatible, but you should always check. So let's quickly go in here and we're going to accept their terms and conditions and then let this install on the PC. The shortcut to the desktop if you wish, and then click finish. This will open up the application. And all we need to do here now is click on check now. And you can see this PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. You can see more results details here. Now, of course, if you're running unsupported hardware, you can still install uh, 22H2. Um, but again, uh, Microsoft could stop updates for that particular unsupported hardware at any time. At the moment, you can still receive updates, but I wouldn't put it on your main system. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly open up our assistant program again. And what we need to do here is click on refresh and it will say install Windows 11 and it will have a bunch of terms and conditions here that you need to read through and then once you're happy with these we can accept and install this latest update so let's go ahead and i'll quickly drag this down here click accept and install and this is going to go ahead and download uh, the update from microsoft servers it does take a bit of time depending on the speed of your internet i'm on a wi-fi connection here and uh, again we'll just let this come down and once this is down, it's going to verify the download and then it's going to go ahead and start to install the update uh, for us. Now, remember, you don't have to use this method to update to the latest version of Windows. Microsoft will push those out to people when uh, they see fit. You will see a Windows update for 22H2 appear in your Windows update section. But if you want to get it right away, then this is how you can get the latest update if you want to play around with the latest features. If you're one of these people that like to get updates early, then you're probably best to join the Windows Insider program and you can play around with all the latest updates inside the Windows Insider program before anyone has a chance to use them. And you can install them on a system or a test system and uh, basically use all those early updates. Uh, using this method, uh, again, uh, this update has been buggy. There's been some issues and some people have had some blue screening and also some other issues with this update. So bear that in mind before you start downloading the latest updates. But as I've said, if you're one of those people that don't care, 
then by all means use this method to get the latest version of Windows. And this works with any sort of Windows update. Once that's done downloading and verifying, it will start to go to the installation process. And again, the very first part of the update is pretty quick, uh, but it will start to uh, stall towards the 70% mark. So be patient and just be uh, patient and let it install on the system. Uh, don't uh, turn the PC off at this stage because you can end up uh, bricking your OS and you don't really want to do that. I see so many people uh, try to rush things and when the screen goes black, they start turning the PC off. Just let it download and install and uh, give it time because this update is quite a big update and it will take a bit of time. And uh, again, just be patient. Now, once that's completed, you will see a message saying restart in in uh, 30 minutes. You can restart right away, or if you've got work, then restart later. But remember, any sort of uh, information you have open, like documents and things like that, just make sure you save all your work before you restart, because after 30 minutes, it will probably just restart, and you want to make sure that you've got all your work saved. So we're going to go ahead and restart the system here. And once that's done, the update process will uh, continue and you will see a black screen and again, some text and update in Windows. And once that's complete, you can come into your operating system. Once it's rebooted, you'll get to the desktop and you may see a couple of little updates available. Download and install those as well. And once that's completed, you should be on the very latest version of Windows 11. You can check by going to the search box and type in WinVer in here. Open, open up the application and you can see now that we're on version 22 h2 which is the very latest release uh, from microsoft and it's now installed on the system now you can still roll back if you have issues to the previous version you have 10 days to do so or you can extend that to 30 days if you wish uh, but remember you only have a very short period of time to roll back unless you do extend it and if you don't extend it in time uh, and what happens is you run out after 10 days, you will need to do a fresh install. And if you download Windows from Microsoft, you're going to get this version anyway. So there is other ways of getting previous versions. But if you're one of those people that like to update early, you can run into issues. Always wait a little while uh, for Microsoft to iron out any sort of bugs. Let all the other guinea pigs uh, do all the downloading and installing of updates, in my personal opinion, and uh, basically update in a, a maybe a month or so's time when it's all it's all uh, sort of fixed and patched anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video bye for now